Welcome to Chef Throw's Garage. Hey, today I'm on a little project here. This is my uh, oil storage barrel, barrel. It's gonna be one of them, but this is the one that I'm gonna feed uh, most everything into my heater with. Um, I've already got it set up down here. Um, these lids for these plastic drums have it so that you can screw a piece of three quarter inch pipe into. So I did that and I found me a faucet. So I can hook my garden hose up here, a garden hose that I've cut off, especially for this purpose and feed my stove. Um, but this right here is where I'm gonna put everything in. So the goal is I'm gonna connect this two inch to this two to four. And then I'm going to connect this two to four to a four to six. And that'll give me a decent size funnel. Um, we'll see where it goes from there. Another thing I'm going to do, maybe a little later, is I'm going to put me a piece of screen inside here just to catch stuff. I've got me a piece of screen. I'm going to take me a soldering iron or something and try to heat this up and put it in there. Or maybe I'll just throw me some silicone in there. I don't know, but y'all watch me do this and pay attention to how much I mess up. I want to do this halfway right. Okay, I want to do this right. Problem is, I know that one, it's gonna be hard for it to leak, but if it does leak, I mean, it's just the way it's designed, everything flowing downhill, the chances of it leaking aren't real high. I'm using this, I'm gonna sort of clean it out a little bit. and then use it again. I'm probably doing this all wrong. I ain't no plumber, y'all. Um, never, uh, never claimed to be, but it is what it is. Well, I guess when I use this last. I didn't make sure my top was clean. Boy, ain't that pretty. Give me some of this blue goo here. Ain't no telling how old this stuff is. I didn't want to make this little connector piece too big because, well, I don't want it up here. As it is, I think I'm going to need to make everything a little lower. Maybe not. The next piece. I am not gluing in place. Here's why, tell me, tell me what you think. I wanna be able to remove that screen or remove that piece with the screen in it because I wanna be able to clean it out easier. So really it's just gonna sit up here like this.
There we go. So I'm gonna cut this here and we'll go back to it here in a minute after I figure out what I'm gonna do with this. I know one thing, if you'll look in here, you'll see there's a slip. I think I'm gonna take that lip out of it. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. Okay. We've got a couple of goals here. One, follow this project through the end. That's, that's a goal for me. Um, but two, finish with a good project. Um, I guess it's too much for this little guy. I'm sure there's a better tool for this. So if you, if you wonder why I'm tearing up this brand new screen, well, it's because this is the cheapest way for me to get the amount of material that I needed. Didn't need no more than this. So there was no sense in buying more than that. Uh, let's see if that'll black on black doesn't show up too well. Let's see if I got white here somewhere. I got a bunch of these paint markers. Bad thing is I don't use them a whole lot and they end up drying out on me. And that sucks. So I'm just making an outline of this because well, that's close to the size that I need it to be. Uh, I wonder why I got a piece of cardboard there. Well, I just don't want to mess up my little that's a case doormat that I've been using. Um, my son gave it that to me as a present. And well, it's too pretty to use as a doormat. Um, this doesn't have to be super great. I'm gonna tuck it into the corner or super close. I'm gonna tuck it into the corner and then I'm gonna melt it, hopefully together with the PVC, hopefully using my uh, soldering iron here. I know y'all seen me with the Milwaukee soldering iron. Um, today I'm gonna to be using this, I think it's called Master, Master, Master Appliance, something like that. We're gonna see how well it does for this task. Um, probably need to get me a screwdriver here and poke and prod and push everything into place. Probably don't even need to lock it in place, but I'm going to. Here's old Craftsman. Let's see if I can make this. Pop up. There we go. Now push it. Right now I'm trying to push everything so we're sort of even in here on what we got. There we go. Maybe that's it. Well, I think it's going to be close. Push it in with my fingers and then get it. This is just something, you know, I don't know that I've ever seen anyone do this. Uh -huh. I don't know that this is the smartest thing, but I wanted a little bit, you know, to catch just stuff that I haven't caught. You know, you empty your doggone oil out and you expect it not to have any de debris in it, but it does. So, should have been letting this warm up. So it's the PI20SIK. 
It's pretty decent. It's a butane powered, I believe. Got this from Amazon. I actually bought two soldering irons at the same time because I wanted to kind of see. I think it's getting hot. There it is. Yeah, it's getting a little warm. Uh, it'll, it'll hold on for you. You know, it's a pretty decent one. Um, I don't know. It's got a, I've got a tip on here that's like a chisel. And hoping it'll, it'll work for what I need it to. If it won't, we'll figure something out. If it won't, I might use some uh, super glue gel. I got plenty of Gorilla Glue. Let's see. Well, maybe. So far, it ain't doing anything. And this might be, uh, I don't know, it might be hard to melt this stuff. I've never tried it. I didn't even do any research to see if this was a stupid idea. Yeah, I don't think we're working. Then again, I don't hear it either. It's warm. I wonder if I am out of fluid because I haven't filled it in a while. So let's try something else. I mean, it's a cool little tool, but it ain't it ain't doing what I need it to do. But I got another tool that just might work. This is the kit. Just so y'all know, it's a um, Master PI20SIK. Here is the Harbor Freight electric plastic welding kit, which I probably should have pulled out to begin with, but you know, why do things the right the first time, right? some of this plastic. Maybe that'll help. I've used this. I repaired a part with it or something. I don't know. I'll, uh, I'll bring you back when it's ready. Okay, okay let's see if this does. Okay, seems to be starting to work. Let's see. Make a little bit of this. Put a plastic melt down in it. Okay, there we go.
Yeah, that's what I want to see. See, when you're supposed to use the right tool for the right for the job. Now I'm sure there's a better tool anyway. <laughs> Let's put some more plastic in here. M mix these bad boys together, turn it a little bit. So I got my two spots now. Three spots. When I chose my when I chose my doggone uh, screen, I had to make sure I got something that was metal. Because I think that maybe it wouldn't have quite worked out all that well if it wasn't. I'm going to end up doing this all so... I won't talk no more and I'm going to do a slightly fast forward on this. Yeah, that one didn't hold down very well. I think I need to be holding this down on some of it after while it melts or finishes, uh, what is, what am I talking about? While it does its uh, thing to cool down. Let's bring y'all over here. Wish I had another tip for this. Probably don't need to do this as much as I'm doing it, but why not? Okay, I think that's enough. Let's unplug it. I'm gonna try to bend it back. There we go. And I'm gonna set that in the floor. There you go. What do y'all think? It's in there pretty good. Let's go finish this project up. Now here's my only problem with this now. So that ain't bad, but here's the thing. I want to be able to do this. Well, I guess it will hold up there. So that's good. That way I can set my can up there and just let it drain and go on about my business and come back later, put another one up there. Um, I'm behind the camera now. That's my pump to Someone gives me some stuff that wants to keep their barrel. I take the pump, it's 12 volt, and I just empty out their barrel. Hey, I appreciate y'all watching. This is just a little simple project. Um, you can set your funnels in there, anything, and just let them drain. Um, I also thinking about making something a little bigger so I can set multiples in there, but we'll get that later. And I can always remove this and clean that screen out. Um, I'd open this up for you and show you, show you draining out, but why would I do that? <laughs> Y'all take care. <laughs>